Parts of California got hit with heavy storms over the weekend, causing widespread damage in the state. Take a look at some of the video we got in. The strong winds and heavy rain caused power failures, mudslides, even street closures. Wind gusts in some areas reached up to 60 miles per hour, downing trees and power lines. Many flood watches were issued throughout the day and yesterday. This morning, Matt Wince is tracking storm movement and can break down what we can expect today. Yeah, so the atmospheric river, you hear about it all the time. It's not something that's rare. It occurs all the time out over the ocean. So what is the atmospheric river? It's similar to an actual river. It's an area of moisture, a large channel of moisture in the atmosphere. And it's not on the ground, it's in the sky, all right? It's kind of like a fire hose up in the sky that's just aimed all over areas of the Pacific Ocean. So what happens is you have this giant band of water vapor, right? Well, what happens as it moves inland, it's about 200 to 400 miles wide. As it moves inland to California and areas of the Pacific Northwest, it rises because there's a terrain increase, right? So that helps to wring out even more moisture out of this fire hose, which is literally pointed at the West Coast. As you get high enough into the mountains, Sierra Nevada's Cascades, you deal with heavy snow and that's certainly what they're dealing with out there. You get all this rain in the mountains, it runs off and you have all that flooding as you get down into lower levels. So let's look at what's happening now. We've got two atmospheric rivers here. You can see fire hose number one aiming at California over the last couple days. There's another one developing out towards the west. That's not abnormal. That happens all the time. That's how they get their rainy season. But this particular atmospheric river event, look at the last 48 hours. Very powerful area of low pressure has done that. So they have just got and raked with rain and mountain snow. They had wind gusts over 80 in the mountains with heavy snow. You get blizzard conditions, six feet of snow in the mountains, powerful winds all across the state and widespread flooding. As we go through time, this is your future cast. They continue to get the rain in LA. They don't handle rain well there. Three to four more inches of rain expected for them. Another three to four feet up in the Sierra Nevadas. Just a very, very big system for them out west. So. The big system is the part that's not really something they come to expect in Southern California. Dave. Yeah, incredible. All right, Matt, thank you.